What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with a race playthrough here on PCM 2021 and we have the Tour of Slovenia. Now five stages are here. We have some very steep climbs as well so should be a pretty fun race to also combine with some sprint stages. If you enjoyed today make sure you hit like and sub if you're new but looking at the start list we have Tade Pogaccia. Only Tade Pogaccia, the Slovenian on home soil I think it might be quite difficult to beat this man, that is for certain. UAE with a very strong team here in the build-up to the Tour de France. We have Mahoric here for Bahrain, fairly good team for Bike Exchange, Astana as well. And they are the only four World Tour teams here. We have Uno X with a very nice team, Bingoa here, Gazprom, Bardiani, and you can see Jon Abrasta is here too. It's not the strongest start list on paper, that is for sure. And I've tried to add as many teams as possible, um, but that has been a little difficult due to obviously the World DB not quite being fully fledged just yet on PCM 21. There are multiple home teams in the race. I think Ljubljana as well. Apparently they're not available just yet in the DB, but we can go for Adria Mobile. So that is who we are going to take today. We've got the legend Giga Horvat here, along with a bunch of other riders on paper, apparently according to PCM, the weakest team in the race. So yeah, it's going to be fairly challenging for us to get anything out of this race, but stage win on home soil for Adria Mobile would be perfect. Sprint stage is up first, and it is Matteo Trentin and Phil Bauhaus, the two clear favourites. Bauhaus, I think, by far the quickest sprinter here on paper. Race days, PCM, what is this? Giga Horvat, our only rider, not on a minus race day. But um, yeah, our only chance, I think, is just going to be to attack up the roads early and try and hold it to the line in the breakaway. Our fastest sprinter, I think, is 68 sprints. So um, yeah, not really going to win it that way. Breakaway have gone finally, and we only have three riders here, and we were only able to get one rider in the group. But I think Angulo, probably the strongest rider on paper up the roads. I think we should definitely try and take as many intermediate sprints, KOM points as possible with Giga Horvat today. 1K to go until this intermediate. Can we get the jump on Angulo? Angulo, let's see. Uh, the other guy is so far behind. He's dropped already and Giga takes the points. Massive shout out, by the way, to Ozzy for doing the route for this year's Tour of Slovenia. Great, great work. And so this is an important section of the race. Two and a half K to go until the only KOM sprint of the day. And this is going to decide who wears the jersey in the following stages. So let's be very aware here. Angulo, though, with that 70 hill is going to be very difficult to beat for sure with Giga Horvat. Can we maybe come to the left-hand side, right-hand side? of the road we're leading things out right now but it is downhill which is surely going to help us let's kick now into the final kilometer we have kicked for the line can angulo follow us he's going to try surely here comes the spaniard but the line comes very quickly after that descent and giga horvat is going to take the points and be in the KOM jersey for stage two. And that is quickly followed by the next intermediate sprint. So let's again stay to the front. 1K to go. Downhill to the line. Let's just go for this with Giga Horvat. Anglo, though, this time, I think it's going to beat us. Is he? No, he's not. He can't come around. Giga dominating this stage so far. Final intermediate sprint of the day then. Just 1.5K to go. I think I'll try and launch early to the right-hand side with Giga moving over to the right-hand side of the road. They can't follow the wheel. And hopefully we have the gap to Angulo to take the final sprint of the day. Yes, we do. What a stage for Giga. So we're doing our best with Angulo and Giga to hold on to the front of the race. Extra barrier has been dropped and quickly, I think the sprinters are going to overhaul us. We have Katrasnik, I think you say. Anyway, he's going to be our sprinter today. David Per is going to lead him out. 67 sprints on this man, 68. So um, yeah, a top five would be a really good result, I feel. But you know what? I may try and grab a wheel of another sprint here. If I can see one, I can see Phil Bauhaus. And we saw earlier, he looks like the strongest sprinter here. So can I grab his wheel? I think we already have riders there. There is Bauhaus. Can I grab it? I can't seem to. Let's go up to maybe 90 right now in the lead out. Fabio Felina is here. Let's grab his wheel. So we're on Felina's wheel. We're trying to get there at least. There's Matteo Trenton. I'll hop to his wheel. Here he comes into the final 2K. UE, the strongest team at this race. We're on the perfect wheel right now. Into the final kilometers of the race. Can we sprint for the line? Unsurprisingly, no, we can't. And it will be Phil Bauhaus taking the win today. Trenton will only be third. And we are going to finish... 15th or something, I'm not sure. Let's see, across the line, and it is going to be 14th place. Because we won all three intermediates, we are actually now just one second behind Phil Bauhaus in the GC with Giga, and he also leads the Young Riders jersey as well, so this is a great start, also being in the KOM jersey. And this time, we get some very nice race days, a plus four on Giga Horvat, who is clearly becoming the start of our team very 
quickly indeed. Let's attack up the road, try and use this new attack bar a little to judge our effort nicely. Now we can relay and try and get in the breakaway again. And you know what? This is going to be the easiest intermediate sprint of our race by far because the breakaway or the rest of the breakaway haven't quite made it to Shigo just yet and we're going to get first for I think the fourth time in a row at an intermediate sprint at the Tour of Slovenia. You love to see it. And this time around, I do feel it is Kachekov who is our main rival up the roads in the breakaway. 67 mountains, 69 hill two. Here we go again then. Another intermediate sprint. We'll swing to the left-hand side and try and go early with Giga. Seems to have worked so far, but Kachekov seems to react pretty well. But again, Giga is just too quick for these guys and he goes into the lead of the points classification. So just 2k to go. We're trying to come to the front with Giga, trying to make our way past Kachekov. He is really going very hard though. And that mountain stat for him really is starting to pay dividends, I feel, into the final kilometer. We need to react straight away and we do. But Kachekov is very punchy compared to Giga. And I think we're going to have to settle for maybe runners up spot here. Let's see, can we maybe come past? In the final, let's go with Giga and it will be runners up spot. But still, we're doing very well in this KOM classification. And behind, I mean, the tempo is nothing. But look at our guy's energy just trying to stay to the front of the race. Also, we need to try and get to this intermediate ASAP. And so Kachekov has sat up 3k to go. Can I even ride straight past this man? Let's see with Giga on the right-hand side of the roads here. We're going to try and do just that. Here goes Kachekov, 1k to go. And here goes Giga Horvat going for the line. Kachekov as well. Is our unbeaten record going to be broken right here? Yes, it is. Kachekov just gets us this time around, but still 34 points. So Hotsavar, I'm going to go with. I'm going to butcher his name. I do apologize in advance, guys. But Hotsavar is going to be our leader on the stage. 66 Mountain, 65 Hill. He's our GC guy. And if he can stay to the front here on this Fatina climb, that would be perfect. So I've learned that his name is Christian. So we'll go with that. Christian Hotsavar, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. But anyway, he is really struggling with the tempo being set by Uno X of all teams on the front. Kreuziger is here. Masse Mahoric as well. This stage suits him almost perfectly. And where is Pogaccia? He's a bit further back, playing it very cautiously right now while we're doing our very, very best. Still three kids going this climb, and we are dropping very quickly. Uno X are still all over the front of this climb. Felina and Mahoric are really looking quite aggressive. Pogaccia much less so at the moment. 900 meters to go, and I don't think there's going to be any attacks. Just a high tempo being set. Ulysses is here. Hulagard, Pogaccia not going to attack just yet. And are we going to stay to the front of the race? I think we are. What a ride by Chris. So from this point, we have 10k to go. I'm not sure how we're going to attempt to win this stage, but at least I think we can now try and stay to the front. We still have a little kicker to the line. So we're going to try and use our teammate right now to just move up into the final 3.5k. And he is doing such a good job. Look at this ride by the guys right now. Now Christian needs to set his own rhythm. Probably going to be very difficult though to stay at the front. Hulagard is here. Ulysses, Pogaccia. Can we try and take Tade's wheel? But boy, we're going to get blown out of the water right now. Look at UAE dominate this race. 800 meters to go to the finish. Let's just sprint for it. Pogaccia, Ulysses. Is it going to be a 1-2 or is it going to be a win? Because Marcus Hulagard is coming. Felina is coming as well. But Tade Pogaccia is going to hold on to win at the Tour of Slovenia. No massive surprise. Hulagar gets second. Ulysses will be third today for UAE. And I think we're going to get the same time. No surprise, Pogaccia goes into the lead of the Tour of Slovenia. And I don't think he'll lose the jersey from this point. But we do manage to stay in the front group. Really, really strong ride by Christian today. We also have the points jersey as well as the KOM jersey. So we cannot complain one bit. So again, we're going to have to try and go in the breakaway with Giga, I believe, to just try and rack up as many points as possible in the respective competitions. However, Anjokovsky, who is a very good sprinter, I think was second on the first stage here, he has managed to get his way into the breakaway somehow. And I'm sure we're going to have a lot of teams not particularly happy. Tempo has been unreal so far today and we are struggling to hold the wheels even before the first points. But luckily, our comrades in the breakaway are also struggling. Only 1.5k to go and I do think we can at least take some points here. It's just about how many. The final answer, I think, is going to be maximum points. Perfect, perfect stuff. Another intermediate sprint for us to try and win. Anjokovsky, I'm pretty sure, is going to take this. Let's see if he tries to come past us first. 
and we beat Anjokovsky in a sprint. Okay, Zhuka Horvat is on something in this race, and I'm not sure what, but it's making him perform very, very well. So can we take this one again ahead of Anjokovsky? I'm not sure if he's trying to contest. I think he's just trying to follow, which does mean we should be able to roll across the line here. Yes, he's just following us perfect, so more points in the back. Yes, another one. Believe it or not, intermediate sprint coming up. We're going to try and win it with Zhuka. Can we do that 1K to go? I think we should have the beating of these guys. It seems we have so far, and we do yet again. Another crash for us. David Purr has gone down this time around, and we are now approaching the decisive moments of the stage, and I think we're going to get caught before this KOM. Oh, my word. Our riders are falling all over the place, and by themselves, look at this. Two fools, solo fools, with no one else brought down by our riders. Really strange. 8K to go then is going to be the expected mass sprint again. I think our best tactic is probably doing the same and just following the wheels of the quicker riders and seeing how far we can finish. Oh my word, we've had another crash, another crash. Was it only our rider again? Okay, at least a few other riders went down this time. Jonathan Milan, a good lead out man for Bahrain, victorious for sure. Where is Trenton? Let's sit up here. 4K to go. We don't want to be at the front just yet. There is Ulysses. There is Mattia Sobrero as well for a stunner. We'll grab his wheel. There is Phil Bauhaus. Can we jump to the Germans' wheel? We're finding that difficult. Instead, Malicelli would be the perfect wheel. And we are there. Bahrain Victoria is taking us right to the front of this race. 1.5. Okay, let's go. We need to try and hold that wheel. Hold that wheel. We're not quite going to be able to. Is Malicelli going to steal it? No, he isn't. Phil Bauhaus wins again at the tour of Slovenia. Trenton third, and this time we do make our way into sixth place. A very nice job. Really very happy with that stage, but Phil Bauhaus does close the gap to just four points in the points jersey right there, but we look very good in the KOM jersey with Giga Horvat. So I feel like this time we could maybe try and get two riders in the breakaway. David Per on a really nice day and Hoch Far Christian, our leader, not on the best day either. So it may be worth trying to really go all in for the breakaway. So we've had a massive fight for the breakaway today, but Giga Horvat was unable to join that group sadly. David Per has just bridged and it is a fairly big group Probably the biggest of the race so far with some pretty good riders as well. Stepman, very good little climber. And we need to try and take away the intermediate sprint points here. Oh, but Kuznetsov and these guys are actually going to try and sprint for this. What's a nightmare? Can David Per come first? Yes, he can. So we're going to try and take every single intermediate sprint point, as many as possible at least, because David Per needs to try and defend Giga Horvat's jersey. I must say that this stage is a lot more difficult than I first thought. Really, some very steep climbs. David Per still just holding on to the front of the race. Quite a few riders have been dropped from that group. And you can see Christian was just dropped over the top of that climb as well. And he is really, really suffering right now. He's already lost three teammates too. There we go then. Per is dropped by Soto at the front of the race. Stedman as well has been dropped. And he is a very good climber. So we've put in a decent little performance here. Just it's been such a difficult day. The tempo is so high. It is so, so high. We have 60 riders here. And look at our energy. I'm honestly struggling just to stay in the group, let alone to the front of the race. But we have now managed to move to the front just in time perfectly timed actually ahead of the first of the day's main efforts but we are quickly going to go out the back here such is the rhythm of the main tempo look at this we are going 80 we are trying to set a tempo we can stay at for the entirety of the climb we have to go 85 but look we're already at the back of this group i mean aniakovsky is still at the front the polish sprints are doing very well now we have the attack of Javier Romo, very talented uh, Spaniard for Astana is Romo. He goes on the move here to try and put UAE under pressure, but they still have Palank, Trenton, Ulysses, and Micah in the group for Pogaccia. So I think it's going to be difficult for Romo. He does have a little advantage, though, coming into this final climb. And look at this. He's still going on the front. It's Romo, but here comes Pogaccia. Here he comes. Mahoric, Hulagard. They're trying to hold the wheel. And look at the gap these guys have at the front of the race. Romo, he has cracked with one and a half K to go. And Pogaccia, he's clear. I'll tell you what. I'm looking forward to see how Pogaccia does on this stage in real life. He has dominated the opposition here. That is for sure. Mahoric will be second. Marcus Ullegaard, really respectable third place. And the gaps we have right now are massive. Visconti, Stannard, Tratnik, Kangert, Felina, and Roman Kreuziger will be next to finish. I would have absolutely loved to have had a GC result here, but we're only 39th, six and a half minutes down to Tade Pogaccia today, who has blown away the opposition at this year's Tour of Slovenia. It's not a massive surprise. We're currently 30th in the GC, but... 
This is the main one. We are now second behind Pogaccia in the sprint jersey and third in the KOM classification. Can we snatch those back on the final stage? Oh, Giga, this was the only day we needed a big day from you. And he gets a minus four day. Oh my word, that is an absolute stinker if I've ever seen one. And can I maybe try and get two riders up in today's breakaway? Let's try, we'll give it our all um, and see if we can give Giga some help up the roads. So sadly guys, we're not going to be allowed to put anyone up the road with Giga Horvat. We have Malicelli here, Bernas is here as well. A pretty good breakaway and the situation is this. We need some sprint points and we need some KOM points to take back those jerseys. UAE team Emirates are controlling on the front and I'll tell you guys, we are struggling to hold these wheels even for this first KOM. This is it. 2K to go and we need some points here. We need six to be precise to overhaul Masse Mahoric, which is first position. So I'm hoping these guys aren't going to contest this KOM. They are pressing on quite aggressively now is Irizar. 600 meters to go. Here goes Giga giving his all for the jersey and Giga Horvat is going to win hopefully the KOM competition um, because I don't think Mohoric is going to win the next KOM. And the tempo is very high again, but we will be allowed to take the points just to ensure we win the KOM jersey with 59 miles in Giga Horvat. Let's go. Our next challenge is the points jersey, and you can see you get six points for each intermediate and we need quite a few to overhaul Pogaccia and then hold it over the finish line as well. So this is going to be more difficult. But again, these guys, oh my word, they've gone for it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Malicelli, of course. The sprints are up the road in the breakaway. Steals the points. So we only get four on that occasion. So Malicelli is the sprinter. Up the road in the breakaway we need to beat here. If we beat him, we go into the provisional lead. If not, we stay second behind Pogaccia. So one case go. Let's just open it up right now with Horvat. But here comes Malicelli. And it's a no contest, I'm afraid. Especially on this minus four day. We're one point behind, come on. Only four and a half K to go here. We are caught badly out of position with our sprinter, but we are trying to move up. Let's go to the right-hand side, maybe, to get to the front of this race. Use all the gels right now. We are finishing on that little cobbled sector as we have a few guys opening it up. Can I maybe get in the wheel of Marcus Hulagard? Can't really do that right now. Only 1.8. Okay, to go. We're struggling. We're not following our teammate for some reason. Maybe Rob Stannard. Let's just sprint for it with all of our guys. See where we end up. It's not going to be a win. And it's going to be another win for Phil Bauhaus. I think a hat-trick at this race. Beating Aniakovsky for Lina is third. And Tadej Pogaccia wins the Tour of Slovenia. So we were 17th on the final stage. Not the best performance, I have to say. But I'm pretty happy with the race overall. We do manage to get that KOM jersey with Giga Horvat. You love to see it. Luckily, we couldn't have won the intermediate sprint or the points classification anyway. So I think Giga, the new Thomas to get, that is for sure. But if you enjoyed today, make sure you smash that like button. Drop a sub on the channel as well if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one.